Uh, fun night for him, huh? Uh, it's, uh, you could hear his close family and friends cheering for him really loud. Uh, those are special nights, like one he's going to remember the rest of his life. And he was good. Uh, uh, first inning, like, managed, he got in that bases loaded situation, gets the ground ball to get out of that inning, and uh, really settled in nicely from there. But the very beginning of the game, kind of feeling for the off speed a little bit, not really trusting it. Fastball command was there from the beginning, and I thought as the game wore on, it just got better and better. And uh, that's, that's fun. Uh, you, you relish those moments as a manager to watch a, a, a young guy step up like that and have that type of a debut. That's a lot of fun. Some Hedges had a good low trip in the tonight. What have you been seeing from him? I, absolutely everything you could ask for. Uh, I mean, like he's so invested in uh, seeing Jacob Nix pitch well that uh, you, you're not going to find a catcher in the game that takes it as personal as he does back there. And uh, to win that game with a shutout. I think that's what he's most happy about, but then he provided the offense too, so he's been swinging the bat so well since he's been back. He's having fun playing baseball. Uh, he drops the ball behind the plate. He's mocking himself. Uh, he's, he's just having a good time out there right now. It's a lot of fun to watch. Had a number of guys make their debuts. What did you notice about Nick's today, the way he carried himself before the game? Loose, uh, talking to family and friends on the field before the game. Uh, I walked by the training room probably 40 minutes before the game, and he was just talking on the training table. I'm telling you, like, a lot of people clam up in those moments. Like, they get really, really quiet. Uh, they get really anxious, really nervous, and shoot, human beings, you're, you've been dreaming a moment your whole life. Uh, to not get nervous is, would be hard to understand. Uh, but he talking all day came in my office sat down you could tell he was comfortable in his own skin i've had some young guys come in in the past and aren't with us anymore that uh, when they came into that moment you could see it in their eyes that like this felt bigger than them he was bigger than this moment so that was a lot of fun to see how, how did you observe him to handle himself during spring when he couldn't really pitch and then uh, obviously his season was delayed and uh, known kind of that context yeah, I mean, I talked with him casually in spring. There's 60-some guys there, and he spent the bulk of the time in the training room. So I, I don't want to pretend like I, I created this close-knit relationship with him in that time. Uh, you talked to him a little bit. Uh, it felt for him because he didn't get an opportunity, but you knew his opportunity would come. So uh, I really wasn't zoned in on him, observing him at that point in time. But uh, he's handled everything really well. The, the whole minor league staff's been raving about him for some time now, and everybody's been looking forward to seeing him make this debut. Is there a sequence or a particular out where you saw him settle in? Uh, I think after you got through that first inning, uh, it just seemed much more at ease. It wasn't that he was bad. It was just a feeling for that secondary early on. He got back out there maybe the third inning and drops a couple breaking balls in really quickly to uh, to a batter early in, the, in that inning and just seemed completely fine from then on out. Really good change-ups. Punched out Reese Hoskins with one. Uh, you know, punched out, I think, Santana with one as well later. Uh, maybe Michael Franco. Those were two really good change-ups. He punched guys out with uh, right-handed hitters that he got, and that's uh, that's a real weapon for him. There's not a lot of guys that throw a good right on the right change-up. Yeah, it was great. I was going to cover him. I uh, wouldn't have let him be in a position to walk away from that game with a loss. So uh, we had Matt Strom up early in the six, not because he hadn't thrown the ball well, but just because uh, you want to make sure a guy gets out of their debut with a good line intact and feels good about himself. And he, he, there was no drama in the sixth inning at all. It didn't make me have to make a tough decision. So uh, I always appreciate that.